My name is Agnes Tisa and I work for mentoring and empowerment program for young women in Pro. And uh, to me, the impact of the work of AJW is as a an organization. Throughout the stages of implementation, I've seen uh, these girls and young people engaged in the project attest to their self-confidence, their self-esteem being built, their leadership styles and skills um, improve. And I would attribute this to the project because we have engaged some of these uh, young people within uh, the activities supported by the project. And some of the activities that were supported by the project, um, we had uh, feminist conversations, we had personal organization management trainings, we had um, sexual reproductive health and rights, uh, wood camps and training, and major goals. So to me, I feel the project has been uh, a success. And to MEMPRO as a whole, in terms of uh, institutional strengthening, we've seen uh, the project has contributed to planning and reflection sessions, mental and uh, physical awareness sessions for staff. And in the planning and reflection sessions for staff, uh, we as an organization have always had a sense of direction in our implementation, how we expect to do work, and it has helped us in terms of mobilization for resources, it has helped us uh, in our Decision making model who is supposed to be where, who is doing what, when, and how it should be done. And uh, in our reflections, we've had, uh, uh, we've taken it up or used it as a feedback and accountability mechanism to us, to us as staff, because uh, we usually review um, some of the action points from the previous reflection session that we had to contribute to as staff in the organization. And we have always brought out the strengths and weaknesses of all these projects and uh, where most of our work has not done well and what we feel we should do towards a uh, better implementation of the project. The, additionally, the project has done so well in, in line with uh, self-care because uh, whenever we've been supported with uh, these mental and physical wellness sessions, We've seen that like, staff self care or staff like livelihood being put at at the center of, of everything because if you're not in a good condition, if you're stressed out, you will not be in position to implement the, the, the work effectively. And that has always been done paramount. Additionally, uh, we've seen uh, some of these young people especially those who are involved in the personal and organization management training. Some of them are young leaders and uh, some of them have uh, take up positions that make decisions in their organizations where they work. And uh, the way they make decisions these days has improved a lot. And they attested to this during the during combined learning days because the project has facilitated to learning days where we bring uh, project beneficiaries like all together and uh, they've always shared the successes and the contribution that our work has rendered towards them. And uh, yes, not to actually forget the safe spaces that we have uh, provided to these young women. They always feel safe to, to share especially um, in the feminist conversations and uh, the most recent uh, HR, HR boot camp that was done with the university students. We've had uh, these university students share how they feel in terms of uh, leadership, in terms of uh, the gender aspects, in terms of human rights generally. The project has done so good. Through all these uh, project interventions, the feminist conversations, the SRHR bootcamps, the SRHR trainings for young people, the personal organization management training, the project has managed to reach um, more than 44 university students and young people.
and uh, this has been a great achievement to us as an organization. <laughs>